We're going to hear from state and uh, local officials on the reauthorization of uh, the U.S. Economic Development Agency, or uh, EDA, as we call it. And uh, to our witnesses, uh, Ms. Cannon, uh, not very nice to see you. Welcome, uh, Patty. Uh, Mr. Fetzer, uh, very uh, great to see you. Uh, we have a son named Christopher. It's one of our favorite names. So. Uh, Commissioner Higgins, nice to see you. Thank you. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, Mr. Graney uh, from Mount Hope. Uh, great to see you. There is hope in Mount Hope. And uh, you're bringing us some hope here today. Uh, and Mr. Day, Mr. Day, nice to see you all. Uh, thank you all for joining us and uh, sharing uh, your perspectives with us on EDA's uh, important uh, programs. And we look forward to hearing what the EDA is doing well and what improvements might help the agency work even better. As my colleagues heard me tell, say more times than they want to remember, everything I do, I know I can do better. And I think the same is true of all of us, and the same is true of uh, programs like uh, EDA. And today, uh, we're going to try to figure out how to uh, keep a good thing going, but actually make it better and uh, more, uh, more effective. Uh, before uh, we uh, hear from uh, each of our witnesses, I want to share a couple of thoughts uh, about EDA and why I think it's important for Congress to reauthorize this uh, vital agency. Under the umbrella of the Department of Commerce, EDA leads the federal government's economic development agenda, as you know. EDA helps to bring job growth and economic opportunity to distressed communities in every region of our country. Additionally, EDA promotes innovation and competitiveness in local and regional economies across America to help them succeed in the global marketplace. As members of this committee, we have heard me say more than a few times, I represent a state that, much like a prize fighter, punches above its weight in terms of its contributions to the U.S. economy. The same can be said about the EDA. This agency, small agency, packs a big punch and makes an outsized impact across our country, in almost every corner of our country. Uh, despite all the exceptional work that EDA has done in every one of our states, the agency has not been reauthorized by Congress since 2004. Uh, that's about 20 years. And uh, two decades, that's too long for an agency with such an important mission to go without a renewed authorization. And let's think about uh, the many ways that our workforce and our economy have changed since 2004. Just to mention a few, we have witnessed technological advances that has transformed the way that we live, the way that we work, and even the way that we travel. We have uh, also seen significant changes in manufacturing and in energy production and in products we use uh, on a daily basis. For example, uh, the iPhone was first released in um, 2007, three years after EDA was last reauthorized. Uh, broadband internet, which only limited uh, households and businesses had access to in 2004, ha have, uh, has become a necessity in our daily lives and our work. In addition, businesses are experiencing new challenges as well as new opportunities, such as how to operate more sustainably on a warmer planet. And through reauthorization, we have a, uh, an opportunity to modernize and improve EDA's ability to foster additional economic growth. So why is this so important? Uh, well, let me paraphrase uh, President Abraham Lincoln when I say that the role of government is to do for people what they cannot do for themselves. Lincoln was once asked, what is the role of government, he said, to do for the people what they cannot do for themselves. EDA helps fulfill that role. Some uh, communities across our, Lincoln was unable to join us as a witness today, but I thought I would give him a shout out. Uh, some uh, communities across our country are struggling with how to navigate today's economies. And over the uh, past two decades, a number, uh, a number of uh, factory towns have seen their last plant close and are seeking to attract new industries. In addition, cities are looking to reinvent themselves to compete on a global uh, scale. EDA can play a role in helping communities turn their economic adversity into opportunity. What did uh, Albert Einstein used to say? In adversity lies opportunity. He was right, and they still right today. As many of you have heard me say, when I had the privilege of serving as governor of Delaware, our state uh, created uh, more jobs than in any other eight-year period of time. I didn't create one of them, but we helped to create, as Patty will recall, we helped to create a nurturing environment for job creation and job preservation in our state that uh, was uh, hugely helpful and uh, still is helpful. And by working together, we can do the same thing in states across uh, the country. 
there are many aspects to creating such uh, an environment. I actually worked for a short while in, uh, right out of the Navy, right out of the, I got an MBA at Delaware on the GI Bill and went to work uh, for about six months in what was then the Division of Economic Development. People say, what did you learn in six months, uh, whether you're working at the Division of Economic Development? Among other things, uh, I, I, I learned the importance of work, workforce, workforce preparation, how that's a shared responsibility. I learned about uh, access to, uh, to capital, I learned about uh, research, access to research funding, research research that could be uh, 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 furthered uh, and, and, and enhanced. I uh, learned about protection of intellectual property. And uh, those are just a few things that, uh, that I learned. I only worked there for six, uh, six years. The other thing I learned, I learned, uh, to paraphrase our president, he, he likes to say all politics is personal, all diplomacy is personal. One of the other things I learned is uh, economic development is personal. Economic development is personal as, as well. And EDA plays an important role in supporting uh, programs in almost everything I've just uh, mentioned. I've also had an opportunity to witness firsthand the EDA's work in our home state, my home state of Delaware. I'm sure that many of our colleagues in the committee could cite chapter and verse on uh, experiences of their own. For example, uh, in the, for the first state, we only have three counties in our southernmost county, Sussex County. EDA helped fund a Center for Automotive Excellence in, uh, at the Delaware Technical Community College in, uh, in Sussex County. Uh, Sussex County is one of the largest counties in America. They raise more chickens than any county in America, I believe. And they, at one time, raised more soybean than any county in America. But we needed to diversify the economy in there, and ADA has helped us to, to do that. But one of the ways was through a uh, Center for Automotive Excellence at the Delaware Technical Community College, uh, just outside of uh, Georgetown County seat. The center has helped us fill a need for trained auto automotive technicians to work, not just at our auto dealerships up and down the uh, state, but also to help maintain the heavy duty trucks that are vital to our poultry industry. As I mentioned earlier, there are like, somewhere like 300 chickens for every person who lives in Delaware. And we have these uh, chicken processing places, poultry processing places. And then we send chickens out across the country in these uh, huge trucks. And uh, the, uh, those trucks need to be maintained. And now they're getting uh, help and the kind of uh, maintenance that they need through this, uh, through this program. Dollar has also received funding from EDA to help our travel and tourism sector. And one of our late, uh, state's largest economic drivers during the pandemic. As we'll hear from our witnesses today, EDA has an impact in communities large and small, in urban areas as well as rural ones. I look forward to working with our colleagues on this committee, with the ranking members especially, to ensure that EDA has the necessary tools to help those communities punch above their weight, just like it's helped to Delaware, my adopted state, West Virginia, my native state, and many other states uh, uh, as well.